Good morning. It's time for morning coffee with me, Sandy. And today I choose happy. And I hope you choose the same thing. Of course, I choose happy pretty much every day, so that's not anything unusual. But today, for some reason, I think it might be a little tougher than usual because at four o'clock this morning, it was already 100 degrees. The temperature today here in the desert is supposed to go up to 120 degrees-ish. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. That means I gotta get out of here pretty quickly if I'm gonna get any tennis in at all. Cause I think it might be a little warm even at 7 a.m. for tennis. We'll see what happens. But here's what I can tell you. The desert heat is very dry. Now, I know some of you make fun of me for that, but the truth is it is generally incredibly dry here, which means it can be 100 degrees and it can still be fairly comfortable outside. And, you know, if you're not like with the sun bearing right down on your head, but the dry heat really does make a difference. I'm just gonna leave it at that, okay? So you take it for what you want. It's gonna be a warm day today. I'm ready for it. Heads up, folks warm day in the desert but you know what there are a lot of worse conditions that could happen and some of you are experiencing them now and please whether it's torrential rains or hurricanes just be safe take care of yourself yeah i know it does feel like um it does feel like everything is conspiring to make it the end of the world how about we just make this a warning to make it a better world? Let's look at it that way, okay? And speaking of making it a better world, behind me, wait a minute, there. Can you see that right there? Right there, right there, yeah. Ice tea, well, okay, it's sun tea. It'll be iced tea when I put it on ice. Other than my morning coffee and my Pinot Noir, sun tea, and water, sun tea has become my drink of choice. I think it may help me kick the diet coke habit. I can't promise you that. But I can tell you that especially when it's really hot, I'm finding it extremely easy to drink and really delicious. And it's so easy to just whip up a new batch, you know? Thank you, Lipton Tea. If you have any secrets for great sun tea, pass them my way because that's gonna be my new passion, my sun tea. So I was thinking it might be kind of fun if on what do I say, what do I do? If we all start making lists of things to talk about. Like for instance, I'm in this group from, I know, I know, I know, I know, it's crazy, but I'm in a group of people from elementary school and junior high school. Shout out to all my friends from Audubon, yeah! And we did a thing for a while where everybody shared a story about somebody famous that they met and then shared a story about some great thing that happened or strange thing that happened on a trip out of the country. If you've been out of the country, um, it might be some experience that you had with a stranger, but I'd love topics like that to talk about. Um, I think many of you know that I used to have a party business and I was like the mother of the balloon business, balloon decorating, balloon um, uh, deliveries, you know, like big bouquets of balloons delivered. I did that for 35 years. It was amazing amounts of fun and I met some incredible people. I, I actually had a list when I was younger of all the people I wanted to meet before I died. No, seriously. Um, at the time, they were all alive. I only missed one on my list, and that was JFK. He, unfortunately, on November 22nd of that year, not the year I made the list, but he, unfortunately, wasn't around to meet anymore. However, I did meet Bobby Kennedy when I was um, 
in sixth grade, he came to my city, Skokie, Illinois, and he came to give a speech in Skokie, and I was chosen to represent the children of Skokie and sit on the dais with him and get to hold his hand and oh my god, it was so exciting. So yeah, that's my Bobby Kennedy story. He's very handsome, very handsome and very kind. Anyway, I've got lots of great stories to share with you. Maybe I'll start sharing some um, some of those with you because they're fun. I mean, you know, I. Um, by the way, the people on my list, it doesn't count just to see them. That doesn't not count. You have to actually have some kind of interchange with them. It can, not just a smile, it has to be words. You have to actually meet them in some way, okay? So we'll start that maybe tomorrow. I'll give you one famous person that I've actually had the experience of being with. I mean, you already know that I hung with Oprah. That was awesome. Okay, so, so far you've got two, right? More coming. Love you guys. More coffee. Stay happy. Mmm. Celebrities coming tomorrow. Bye-bye.